Here's a little question post Legend of the Everfree, and that is, is Timber Spruce the ideal boyfriend for Twilight Sparkle? Now, first of all, was he better written than Flash Sentry? And yes, he was. He and Twilight had actual chemistry together, and they slowly built up the relationship and made him interesting. It does show that the writers are listening to the fans and the feedback, and in each additional movie are fits in their mistakes, going from using Flash less and less to the point where he was almost not used, to now replacing Flash altogether. But is Timber the new boyfriend that will follow Twilight through her many adventures? I would say probably not. It doesn't make sense that he would suddenly start showing up everywhere that Twilight is, as his life is with the camp and the camp only, and he probably wouldn't just start turning up everywhere from here on out. I think it would be much more interesting to give Twilight new boyfriends, or even the other characters new boyfriends, in each new movie so that they can play the field, have lots of different friendships, and experience lots of different experiences, rather than trying to force on people this story of once you fall in love, that's the one person you're in love with for the rest of your life, show something more realistic, that you can fall in and out of love with multiple people over a long period of time, before you finally find that one special person who's just right for you. You have to sort of date and break up and get back into dating again, before you can truly be happy with the person you were meant to be with. And I don't think it made sense to force someone who you met at camp to continue meeting you in situations that are not camp-related. It would be nice to see him again, but probably not in too many movies. He's certainly not the equivalent of Ladybug and Cat Nor or or Jeremy and Aelita or Lint and Zelda or any of those other legendary couples. He's more like a passing ship in the night that you got to know for one movie, you might see again someday, but probably won't have hanging around constantly. Do I expect Hasbro to go with that idea? Probably not, but that's my personal preference. Do I like Flash and Sunset as a couple? Kind of, but not really. I feel both to do better. But it is nice to know that she's there for him when he needs her, and he's there for her when she needs him, and maybe they can be really good friends to each other, at least for a while. Maybe she can hook him up with someone else and try to get him dating again. And then maybe she'll, in time, find someone special for herself. I don't expect Hasbro to go the Legend of Korra route and be bold enough to do same-sex relationships. They're not even allowing the characters to kiss each other yet. So, the ideal shipping couple of Twilight and Sunset Shimmer will probably never happen. So, I'm saying for both Twilight and Sunset, and probably Flash too, if you're not going to go with Flash slash Derpy, I would say each of these characters should have someone new brought on to the next couple of movies to be their main love interests, rather than trying to force them to be with each other. Now, that's all my thoughts on this subject for now. Let me know who you ship in the comments section below. Thank you for watching, and good night.